Happy Vlogmas Day 12. Happy Vlogmas. May the spirit of Vlogmas be ever upon you. Um, so it's Tyler's closing show and we are prepping his gifts to the cast and crew. Because I went a little nutty on Redbubble on the day of Black Friday. On the day of Black Friday. God. Wow. I bought a bunch of stickers for my fellow cast members. Because I like stickers for water bottles. Or other places, I guess. I guess you can put them other places. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to know about where people put stickers elsewise. Elsewise? <clears throat> elsewise. <laughs> Um, and Redbubble had a bunch of fun ones. Uh, I like this one for Miss Scarlet. Big candlestick energy. <laughs> and so I'm just cutting out things like the pawns and... Game pieces. They're pawns. They're definitely not pawns. But they're, look, they're like game pawns, right? The, the only context I use a, pawn a for is... Pipe. And... It's a snake! 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 The rope. Oh, it's a rope. It's a rope. It's a rope. So, I thought I'd turn the camera on because that's what we're doing right now. So, the Mrs. White game piece uh -huh. is impossible to see. You just have to have faith it's there. Did they even put anything on it? Oh, they did. Look, you can, you can see it. You but, can't see oh, her but weapon. Oh, but the rope is not. Yeah. You can't see her weapon. Yeah, that's there's not good reports on Red Bubble there. Maybe they're just like it's there. You just have to believe. You just kind of. Like Santa Claus and Jesus's love and social security for people under the age of fifty. You just have to believe it's there. Believe. So yeah, that's what's happening right now. Yeah. Um, I, my, yesterday's vlog is currently uploading. Um, so that's happening just in the background. And then I have cycle in an hour and a half. So I'll probably start getting ready for that in like 45 minutes. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we're doing. And I gotta get ready for the show. I've gotta shave and. You get to see me do Tyler's makeup one more time. One more time. One, one more, more time. time. So yeah. Oh. Um, what else did you get? Oh, that's all the stuff for Megan. It's the. Um, There's a peacock. The, the gift for Megan, our stage manager. Bookmark. And well, since I was the one that did the buying, I decided her bookmark would be a peacock. Yeah. Well, of course. Because I'm a selfish bugger. All right, I'll check back in later. <laughs> Hello. The last time. My face takes up the entire frame. Yes, I want it to be closer this time. Oh, okay. See how this little thing. I know. Oh, oh I'm sorry, baby. This it has lasted this the entire little time. Little teeny tiny. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Little teeny tiny thing. My little sample. Yeah. You could. You could. This could be a get ready with Mrs. Peacock. No, I'm, I've already called it, um... Oh god, it's like an eye test for me. <laughs> I've already called, I'm calling it Mrs. Peacock's final bow. Oh, oh, oh! Mrs. Peacock's last ride? No, that's weird. Uh, well you can keep that. It, because I use that a, a primer on my lips too. For the, um, lipstick. My lipstick looked really good last night. I was really pleased. Good. Yeah, I went tighter instead of, I think I was getting clown carish on the last couple. I'm gonna grab my tape. And I wasn't as happy. Oh, you know what? I grabbed mine too. It's somewhere. All right. Somewhere is not as good as knowing exactly where the That's tape true. Because what I've been using is painter's tape. Nice. Because it sticks without like having to hurt. Yeah, that's why I stick it. Yeah. See? I stick it on my hand. It's the oils from my hand. I love your oils on my hand. I don't run my face. And I don't want to. 
Oh, you're going a lot higher. Oh, that's cool. What do you mean? Uh, I did my cut crease a lot lower. This is not a cut crease. Oh. Okay. Oh, because the cut crease would be... Yeah. Would be... I don't like, know. Yeah. There. Yeah. No, that's not a cut crease. What, what is that? A cut crease is when you use a shadow to really define the crease of your eye. Yeah, that's what I was doing. So I, I darken in that area. Um, I'll have to show, I need to show oh, you a okay. picture. It's hard to describe. Okay, there we go. Because one of the YouTubers I watched, she, then, she maybe she said that. And then she just put this on the places where tape is not covering. Here we go. Last We've hit pan time. on a few of them. I know, look at you. We've hit pan. Yes, we have. So tell them what palette you've been using. This is the Back to Brazil by people who made it. BH Cosmetics. By BH Cosmetics. Yes, and take I, me back to Brazil palette. Yeah, it's the same palette that my daughter has. But I couldn't use hers because Margaret has Margaret it all over it. And it is not very clean with dipping from one color to the next, etc. So Heather was very kind and let me use hers. Because you really weren't using it, were you? No. No. I was not. I, uh, it was back when I did makeup every day, but even then, it was really just so I could do fun, colorful looks if I felt like it, but not for a day-to-day -day kind of thing. I never, I don't know, I was never one to do that. But this worked out perfectly because you needed color, colorful eyeshadow. Yes, I did. And I am so glad that I could supply. That you have. I was noticing Catherine's eyeshadow yesterday. She did, um, I don't think I've ever really noticed it, but uh, Catherine, who plays Yvette, She's the French maid, and so her. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Catherine used a sort of a very dark brown, sort of smoky color, and I thought it paired well with her dress. And last night was the first time I really noticed it. Because Yvette and Mrs. Peacock don't have many scenes where we're talking one on one. It's really the very beginning that she and I talk. How are you feeling about the show being over? I am sad. I'm legit sad. I'm gonna miss it. I have said with regularity that if this show had been extended for another two, four, six weeks, I don't care. I would happily have done it. I really love it. What's next for you? Uh, a month of rest and recovery, and then I go right into rehearsals for Murder or in the Orient Express, which I'm directing. It is a San Diego premiere of Ken Ludwig's script from the Agatha Christie novel. Christie had never written a play version of Orient Express, And her estate contacted Ludwig and asked him to write it for them. And um, do you feel comfortable saying, talking about your choice, choice of oh, casting? Sure. Uh, I cross gender cast a lot okay. of that play. Uh, the Poirot is a woman. The Abernathy. Uh, oh wait, no. No, no. Uh, Abernathy is a man. Um, Whoever Andrea is playing. Yeah, that's. Uh, Oh golly, what's his name? McQueen, Hector McQueen. And Book, who is the owner slash manager of the Wagon Lit train line, is a woman. And who Who's else she cast as, as Book? <laughs> Sarah. Oh! Yeah. How did I miss that? She gave this really cool audition where I said, I want you to be like a Vichy collaborator. I want you to be just a, a slimy collaborator. And she was 100% down. It just was perfect. Super fun. 
I completely missed that she got cast or that mm -hmm. she even auditioned. Yeah, really dug her audition. Sarah was my Princess Diana in King Charles III. And she looks a lot like Diana, and it is the same age that Diana would be if she were still alive. So why do you do theater? Oh, okay. I wasn't prepared <laughs> for that kind of level question. Um, it, it, can I get away with just saying it's my thing? Yeah. Uh, I love telling stories. And I love playing characters. But I don't get as many opportunities to act. So... For me, it's more, I love directing. I love having an image of a story in my head and then bringing it to life on stage. And I love surprising an audience with unique interpretations of text and solutions to problems that they never would have thought of. I like simplicity when it comes to staging, but simplicity that is belied by deep imagination and craft. I love things that turn into other things, because if we're going to turn a room into a separate universe, if we're going to you know, put a story on stage, then it is an act of imagination on the audience's part. So I want to reward that imagination by turning you know, this box into this other thing, and if you turn it another way, it turns into something else. I love the idea of found moments that surprise and delight. For not having prepared anything, that sounded great. Yeah. Tyler's rushing out the door here. He's His look is amazing. He looks fantastic. Amazing. Beautiful. Oh. Ooh. Ah, so lovely. And then I'm going to have him do a clip from backstage in full costume so that you can see what he looks like. The whole effect. Yes. All right. All right. Drive safely. I love you. I love you. I will see you soon. Mwah. Mwah. All right, so we're backstage right now. We're at intermission, so I figured I would just show off the dress a little bit. So here, let's see. We can't put you right there.
Hey Heather, what are you doing? So, this is this is the joy of volunteer-based theater. We don't say community theater; we say volunteer well, we're theater. We're out of community. We're going volunteer community. <laughs> Just to get you know, Just get people commu committed to the idea. So, this is what happens after the show. We take everything apart. And some of us are still wearing our makeup. See, I'm still wearing Mrs. Peacock here while I do construction. Damn, this camera is good. It is way darker out here than it looks on video. Um, I just finished, oh, that's Tyler's car. Just finished helping Tyler and the cast and crew strike as much as possible. Then it was a good time for them to eat. They have pizza and I'm leaving, partially because I don't want to crash their cast party and also because I'm going to get home. Here's my car. Um, oh, it feels so nice and cool out here after having uh, been all sweaty with the drill. Oh, it is just beautiful out here. Like, damn. You can see over, you can see the top of the Hotel Dell behind me. But, oh, I'm getting in. Wow, it is not that light out. That's bizarre. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, I'm driving home. I will see you when I get there. I'm home. It's 544, another weekend gone. <laughs> um, I am beat, but I need to edit today's vlog to set up to go up. My brain's slow right now. Um, first thing tomorrow morning, because I don't have time tomorrow morning to edit, as per usual on Monday mornings. So. I'm going to end the vlog here so that I can get started with editing and I'm just going to chill for the rest of the evening, have chocolate, watch something. My throat feels really sore, probably from inhaling sawdust for the last hour or so. Um, I love strike though. I really do love <laughs> tearing down sets. It's just, it's fun, but my body's tired. So I hope you enjoyed today. It was a little different. It's a weekend. Helping Tyler, cl helping Tyler close. Helping Tyler do his last. Oh my God! Helping Tyler do his makeup for his last performance as Mrs. Peacock. Um, I'm sure if I ever get an inkling or desire to do Tyler's makeup again, he will happily let me because um, he's wonderful. But. I really thoroughly enjoyed every single time I got to do his makeup. I just made the most of it. It was so much fun. Um, and comment down below if you ever want to see a video where he does my makeup because he actually learned a lot of little tricks and he would probably do a pretty good job, honestly, probably better than me. Um, so yeah, comment down below if that's something you're interested in seeing. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow.